This video summarizes one of the Pedro Top 20 trials. The trial was conducted by Moss, Forth and Tavener. It is a randomized control trial that investigated the effects of electrical stimulation on Bell's palsy. This trial was conducted in the 1950s when electrical stimulation was commonly used to treat people with Bell's palsy. Despite its routine use, it was unknown whether electrical stimulation improved recovery in people with Bell's palsy. The aim of this trial was to estimate the average effect of electrical stimulation compared with no electrical stimulation on recovery in people with Bell's palsy. 86 people who had clinical and electromyographic evidence of Bell's palsy of less than 14 days duration were recruited from the Department of Electromyography in the General Infirmary at Leeds. Participants were randomly allocated to the electrical stimulation or control groups. Allocation was not concealed. 43 participants were allocated to the electrical stimulation group and 40 to the control group. Three participants dropped out, but we don't know which group they were from. In the electrical stimulation group, 11 facial muscles were individually stimulated with 30 minimal contractions with a pulse of 100 millisecond duration. This was provided daily until some movement return and then three times per week until there was full recovery of facial movements. In participants with complete denervation of the facial muscles, treatment was stopped when the condition seemed to have plateaued. The electrical stimulation group was also instructed to massage their faces daily. In contrast, the control group was instructed only to massage their faces every day. The primary outcome was time to full recovery of facial movement. Participants were observed for up to a year. Participants who received electrical stimulation took on average four days longer to fully recover. The authors did not provide the 95% confidence intervals for the treatment effect. Our own calculation of the 95% confidence intervals suggests that the difference could have been as much as 15 days longer or seven days shorter than the control group. The minimal clinically important difference is about seven days. Minimal contraction electrical stimulation is not an effective treatment strategy for recovering facial movement in people with Bell's palsy.